I have a 12102 PDB that I want to migrate directly into a 19C CDB using the Perl scripts with ARM and incremental backups and full transportable export import. I'm connected here to the source host. I connect to the database. And I see that blockchain tracking is not enabled. So let's do that to speed up the incremental backups. Okay, I can also see that it's a 12102 database. I head into the sales PDB. And you can see that in my schema SH, I have a few objects. Roughly around 500 megabytes, so this is a toy database. All my objects or segments are stored in the user's table space. Now on the target system, I connect to the container database. And it's running 19.8. I create a new pluggable database that I call sales. And I verify that my target PDB does not have a table space called users. It's an encrypted PDB, so I need to do some massage on the TDE part to ensure that it's ready to receive an encrypted database. I create a TDE master key, and now it's time to, config, to configure the Perl scripts. I'm on the source host, and I have a zip file containing the Perl scripts. Simply go to my Oracle support to this MOS node where you can download the Perl scripts. Do an unzip, and you will find all the magic in there. XTTT.properties, this is where I do all the configurations. I want to transport the users table space. Platform ID 13, that's Oracle Linux. I need to define some working locations on the source and target host. Where in ASM that I want to put the data files. Details about the ASM instance. Some parallel options and how I can connect to the target host to move the files as part of the process, and also connect strings to the source and target database. Then I copy all the files to the target host as well, because I need the scripts on the target system too. Now it's time to perform the initial level one image file backup. I set a working location and I call the Perl scripts with the minus minus backup option. It'll detect that no backup has been created before, so it'll start doing a level zero backup. At the end, I need to, I need to copy the result file res.txt to the target system. It contains metadata about how far in the progress the Perl scripts are. Then I connect to the target system. And I use the Perl scripts again, but this time with the minus minus restore option. It'll see that nothing has been done on the target system and it'll start to restore the files onto the target host. I can verify that in ASM. I can see here that the data file has been restored into the right directory. So now we can start working on the incremental backups. Remember, there's no downtime yet. The source database is still online. So on the source system, I just call the Perl scripts again with the backup option. It'll, it'll detect how far in the process it is and start an incremental backup because we already did the level zero. When that completes, I copy the result file again to the target system. And then I can put that level one incremental backup on top of my data files. I just call the Perl scripts with the restore option. Now, downtime window starts and we can perform our final incremental backup. On the source system, I connect to the database and into my sales PDB. And I create a new table called cost2 
so that we can verify that no data is lost as part of the migration. And now I set the users table space read only. We now have downtime. Then I call the Perl scripts with the backup option to perform the final level one incremental backup. It gives me a warning that the users table space is read only, but that's intentional. So we don't have to worry about it. In the end, I again copy the result file to the target system. And then I could do the final restore on my target database. And there we have it. Now we can import the metadata. We'll do that over a database link using full transport while export import. I connect to the database into my sales PDB. And now I create a directory that can be used by Datapump and a database link that points back to my source PDB. And I just verify that it works. This is my Datapump parameter file. Network link specifies the database link pointing back to the source PDB. It's a full transportable export import. I've excluded some various options, statistics and the sys user information about the directory and the log file, and which data files that I want to transport. And then I call data pump import, specify the parameter file, and because it is an encrypted PDB, I also choose to input the TDE keystore password manually. And the very first part of the process is the table space plugging. Now that data files are being recognized by the database, and after that, all the metadata is imported. It took around three minutes for this little database. So let's verify that everything works and no data is lost in the migration. I connect to my new sales database as SH, and I query user tables to ensure that my cost to table exists in the target database as well. It does, so there is no data loss. Everything has been transported.